What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so, in our last episode, we went through the Petalburg Woods all the way through Route 104, and, uh, well, now it is time for us to be right here in Rustboro City, explore it just a little bit, and then after that, go into our very first gym battle. So, the first thing you need to check out, guys, is the Cutter's House right here. And the name says it. The name says it all right here. You talk to this gentleman. He's gonna be like that determined expression, that limber way you move, and your well-trained Pokemon. You're obviously a skilled Pokemon trainer. No, wait. Don't say a word. I can just. I can tell it just by looking at you. I'm sure that you can put this uh, hidden machine to good use. No need to be modest or shy. Go on, take it. And there we go. Got ourselves the HM01. We just cut. And, of course, he's going to tell us about the HMs, where you can use them at any time, any place, and all that stuff. It's renewable. And uh, an HM move is one that can be used by a Pokemon outside of battle. Any Pokemon that, can, that that's learned cut can chop down trees if the trainer has earned a stone badge. And unlike TMs, HMs can be used more than once, which is true. Okay. So, that's one. And I do believe if you go into this house right here, too... You get to find a, well, not a special item, but just, you'll get to find an item of some sort. You talk to this kid, and he's like, my daddy's working at the corporation. My daddy made this, but I can't use it, so you can have it. And here we have a Premier Ball. And, well, the Premier Ball is nothing too special. It's just a silver Pokeball. And that's it. There's nothing very, very special about that Pokeball. It's like... Yeah, it's just a waste of it's just a waste of ingenuity and all that crap. Okay, so let's just move on right here. If you go into the Pokemon Trainer School, you will find an individual right here that will be giving you a quick claw. So let's go ahead and talk to him. And well, look at that—he's looking left and right, making sure his Pokemon, uh, his Pokemon students, his uh, pupils right here don't cheat in anything. And he's like, students who don't study get a little taste of my quick claw. Whether or not you're a, you are a good student will be evident from the way you use this item. And there we go. We got ourselves a Quick Claw that can be used for a slow Pokemon. Obviously, you guys have seen it in Pokemon Crystal where I used it with, uh, with Serpentera. And, well, if you go in here... Let's see. The Trainer School is excellent. If you study there, you could even become a Gym Leader. Hmm. Roxanne, the gym leader, really knows a lot about Pokemon. She's really tough, or really strong too, which is great. So you tell me that if I go to school, I can be a gym leader right away. But if I just go on my, <laughs> if I go on my very way, you know, as a ten-year-old kid, I can, you know, I can just, yeah, I don't know, I, I don't, I don't even know where I was going with that. But if I go to school, I'd be a gym leader. If I go train by myself, then I can do it the hard way. I don't even know. So, go in here, and if you talk to this gentleman, I believe, all sorts of places, there are all sorts of Pokemon and people. I find that fascinating, so I go all sorts of places. If you talk to this kid, he's like, huh, that Pokemon is cute. Sure, I knew that. But if you if you really want, I am willing to trade it for you, or willing to trade it to you. I'll trade you my C-Dot for a Ralts if you want. Now, on paper, it, it does sound like a good idea, but then again, it doesn't. You guys comment down below, but just realize this, guys. If you do trade, a, uh, if you do trade for a Pokemon at this, at this point right here, just make sure to realize that, or just make sure to remember, I should say, if you, if you actually, what was it called? Uh, if you train it up to level 10 or above, it will start disobeying you without a badge. You guys probably already seen this with my. Pokemon Crystal version, so just make, make sure to, you know, be aware of all that. Unfortunately, I don't have a Ralts with me, so I don't want a C-Dot right now. And, well, that is that. Let's go right ahead and take on the very first gym. Here we have the Rustboro City Gym. The leader is Roxanne, the rock-loving honor student. Okay. And, luckily for us, we do have two Pokemon that are capable to, you know, take on Roxanne herself. Let's see. Yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? I'm no trainer, not me, but I can sure give you some winning advice. That's settled then. We'll aim for the Pokemon Championship together. 
It's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers. And that's where I come in. He I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne, the gym leader, is a user of rock type Pokemon. The rock type is a very durable, but it can't stand water type and grass type moves. Come see me afterwards if you beat uh, if you beat the gym leader. Well, go for it. Alrighty, so I do have those two types. The only messed up part is that Wingle is weak against rock type Pokemon because it is a, it's still a flying type Pokemon. So, let's see. What we're going to do is we're going to actually teach uh, Sage Bullet Seed just for this situation because, well, while I was trying this out as, you know, when I had a Torchic or something like that, it actually worked out. So let's go ahead and take away its Pound Attack. It's not that, it's not that powerful of a move. I already have a Physical Attack. Much more valuable than, than most. So there we go. And let's get going right here. Don't take us gym trainers lightly. I'll show you why we're better. Okay. And, of course, since this is a gym, it, there are important battles right here. So I'm not going to be doing any speed buttoning or anything like that, guys. So as you guys can see, we got Geodude right here. Rock-type Pokemon. Let's go right ahead and go with a Bullet Seed. And bam. Oh, yes. So Sage is going to have his way around this whole gym. I am excited. I am very, very excited. And look at all the experience points. Sage, he's like, you were too good for me. Yes, I was. Okay, so remember how I said, guys, that, you know, Pokemon Emerald has made an emphasis on uh, on double battles? Well, we're about to see that right here because we got two Pokemon trainers positioned for a double battle. And the little guy right here is like, if you can't beat me, you won't stand a chance against Roxanne. Uh-oh. We might be in the middle of town, but so what? My rock Pokemon need room to rampage. Okay, alrighty, so... These guys really, really want to push it, so we're going to be going up against these guys. And here we have Mark and Timmy coming out with uh, Geodudes, and... Man, I am so glad I got myself a Water-type Pokemon. So, let's go with the Bullet Seed. Let's go with the Water Gun. Let's have at it. And Sea Blade having its way with a Geodude. Look at that. Alrighty, okay. And Sage goes level 15. And, well, we got two more, po or we got three more Pokemon right here, so it's gonna be plenty of experience right here. So here we go with a Bullet Seed attack. And just like that, Geodude has been defeated. Alright, alright, okay, alrighty. Look at that. And, well, let's see. It's gonna be coming out with another Geodude. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and go with another Bullet Seed and another Water Gun. There's no question about it, guys. We're going to be doing this all friggin' day. Look at that. Geodude defeated. Okay. And Sea Blade grows to level 12. And it is not learning a new move. Good gravy. Maybe sometime soon. So there goes Geodude. And just like that, Geodude has been defeated. Oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> well, you got some potential. Oh man, oh man. Our challenger is one feisty one. Okay. So that that right there just shows that, you know, that something good could happen. So here we are in front of uh, Roxanne. And before we do anything, let's see. What was I supposed to do? Yeah, nothing. Let's just go right ahead and uh, take on Roxanne. Let's, uh... Let's start off with uh, Sea Blade and save Sage for later on right here. So here's Roxanne, and she's going to be like, Hello! I am Roxanne, the Rustboro Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a Gym Leader so that I might apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon? Okay, here we go. I like this song. I really do. And, well, hello, hello. Here's Roxanne. And as stated, she does have rock type Pokemon. Starting off with her Geodude. Alrighty. Bring it on. Here we go. Water gun attack. And just like that, Geodude has been defeated. Okay. 
And she's going to be coming out with another one. So let's just continue on with Seablade. We're going to take on uh, the big guns with the even, even bigger guns right here. So here we go. Water gun again. And just like that, we have defeated another Pokemon. Seablade grows to level 13. And it has learned Wing Attack. Finally, okay. See? I make good choices, guys. So let's go with Sage of the Halo right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and see what this nose pass is all about. Now, on here, nose pass doesn't look that big, but when its Pokemon entry does come in, yeah, it is a it is a crazy looking Pokemon. So let's go with a Bully Seed. And, well, this Pokemon has a boatload of defense, so just be aware of that, guys. And... It is capable of using, uh, what was it called, uh, electric type moves because of that, you know, that nose right there. And, well, Rock Tomb tries to lower our speed just a little bit. Hopefully it won't take all of our speed. And, well, let's go with uh, Absorb and, wow. So this Pokemon is taking away, <laughs> it's taking away our, uh, our ability to escape. So now we're going to have to battle it. And it is super effective. Okay, so let's go ahead and try another Absorb. Well, Roxanne tries to heal up her Pokemon. Okay, bring it on. Here we go. Absorb. You're healing me. You know that, right? And, wow. Super effective. All right. Bring it on. Another Absorb. And here comes a Tackle Attack. That right there is going to hurt a little bit. So here we go. Absorb. There we go. Either way you look at it, it you're still going to get healed in some way. And... Roxanne is going to be using at least two potions. I could could be wrong right here. So here we go again. Absorb. And there you go. Another super effective move. We are fully healed. All right. Let's go with the Bullet Seed. All right. That tackle attack won't do anything. So here we go. Bullet Seed. Oh, my God. Look at that. Come on. Give it another one. And oh, gravy. Okay. So they hit it three times. Let's go one more Bullet Seed attack. Your tackle doesn't do anything, so here we go. Bullet Seed for the win. And just like that, Nose Pass has been defeated. And Sage of the Halo grows to level 16, which we all know what happens after that. And it is trying to learn Pursuit. Okay. Let's see. Let's go ahead and take away Leer. We don't really need it much. Actually, we never even use it. I think I used it one time, probably. I don't even know. But there it is, guys. We have defeated Roxanne. And she's like, it seems that I still have much more to learn. I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state that the trainer are to be given this if they defeat the gym leader. Please accept this official Pokemon League stone badge. Throwing out that peace sign, guys. I am throwing out the peace signs. And, well, because of that victory, we get ourselves an evolution. Look at that. Sage of the Halo. Throw out your peace signs. And I don't know why people hate this Pokemon so much. You know what? Comment down below, guys. Enlighten me. Why do people don't like Trico? Comment down below. And, well, look at that. Grovile. How's it going, buddy? And, well, because of that, Grovile is now learning Fury Cutter. And for those... Who are very familiar about this move yeah this move right here it is a very very intense move I guess I'm reading off of that it is a bug type move but as it increases its power increases I am going to take away absorb for just the time being guys it eventually learns another you know healing move and there we go we got fury cutter and throwing out the peace sign double peace sign right here yeah that's right how about that okay so the Stone Badge heightens the attack of power of your Pokemon. It also enables them to use the HM move cut outside of battle. Please take this with you too, and here we have the eight or the TM39. This move is called Rock Tomb. It not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, it also lowers speed. If you use a TM, it instantly teaches it the move to a Pokemon. Remember, a TM can be used only once, so think before you're using it. Since you are so strong, you should challenge the other gym leaders. By battling many trainers, you should you should learn many things. Yes, I will. Alrighty. So that is their first badge. And, uh, well, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Let's see. Let's talk to this guy right here. 
<laughs> oh, what a breathtaking, uh, what a breathtaking victory! My cheering must have worked. Great. Check your trainer card. The stone badge you should, uh, you got should be properly recorded on it. In other words, you've climbed your first step on the stairs of to become or to the championship. That's got to feel awesome. Yes, it is awesome. Very, very awesome. Actually, let's go right ahead and take a look at that. Let's see. Oh, look at that stone badge. Throwing out the peace sign, guys. Okay. So after stepping outside and winning the very first badge, this happens right here. Get out of the way! Get out of the way! And oh my god, this guy. Wait! Please! Don't take my goods! Hmm. Well, this guy right here again, and it looks like we have to be the hero yet again. That will be for the next episode. Yes, we got a lot of stuff going on in the next episode, guys, so you do not want to miss it. Other than that, guys, thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys again for, you know, watching this episode and subscribing and all that crud. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. See you guys.